Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up promotions in Magento. So promotions are actually pretty cool the way they work over here. You can uh, either set up coupon codes or you can set up uh, store-wide sales. Uh, by doing so you can even uh, specify uh, which items are on sale or which items coupon codes apply to. Uh, you can set fixed uh, discounts, uh, you can set uh, percentage discounts. So to start, simply go to your Magento admin panel. Once you've uh, entered your admin panel, simply go to promotions and then click on shopping cart price rules. So once you are on the shopping cart price rules page, simply click on add new rule. Here you will give your rule a name. In this case, I'm going to be offering 50% uh, off. So I will just uh, give it a name of 50% off. And then a description. This is for you. And then uh, simply select your website, which is going to be my main website. And now the customer groups, uh, I'm only going to be offering this 50% off discount for retail customers and these are my retail customers right here. Of course you can also select uh, all of your customer groups if you'd like. As for the coupon, here if you'd like to offer 50% off throughout the entire store, you simply leave it at no coupon. If you'd like to uh, offer 50% uh, off uh, only when a coupon is entered, you uh, click on specific coupon and then here you would enter in your coupon code if you'd like you can have it auto generated personally I like to enter in my own coupon code because the auto generated feature uh, just doesn't look uh, all that great it's not a uh, it's a bunch of letters and numbers or you can actually specify how many letters and numbers or whether you want it um, alphanumeric but it just doesn't it's not readable so uh, I'm just going to enter in my own 50% off. As for uses per coupon code, if you want unlimited uses, you just leave it empty. If you want to limit it to a certain amount of uses, you enter in a number here. As for uses per customer, same as uses per coupon. If you want to uh, limit the amount of times that a customer can use this coupon, you simply enter in a number there. As for uh, date, this is when the coupon becomes uh, active and uh, this is when the coupon uh, becomes inactive. If uh, you don't want to uh, set it by date, you can just leave these fields empty and you can simply uh, deactivate the coupon when uh, you feel like you want to. Uh, as for priority, this is the priority of the coupon in your list of coupons. So if you're adding another coupon and you want uh, this coupon to be at the top, you simply select the priority at a lower number than the other promotion. As for public um, in RSS feed, uh, do you want the coupon to show in your RSS feed? If you don't, you simply select no. As for conditions, these are the conditions of the promotion. For example, you can choose between all or any, and you can also choose between true or false. For example, if any of the rules below are true, uh, the coupon code will be applied, or if any of the rules below are false, the coupon code will apply. So now, to have it as true and as all, we simply click on uh, the green uh, arrow there, and then we choose a condition. We can either go by cart subtotal, we can go by total items and quantity, we can uh, choose total weight, payment method, shipping method, postal code, region, state, country. So for example, if you want to limit the coupon code to a specific country, you uh, must uh, choose this option. And uh, if you want to add other rules such as product attribute combinations, Say for example, I'm going to go with uh, the name of the item. I will simply choose the attribute name and then I will click on these dots here and I will enter in the name of the item. In this case, these nine West pumps. Note that you must enter the entire name. You can't just enter in nine West. 
so it's best to uh, make sure that you copy the name properly so for example if anyone buys uh, these nine west pumps they will be able to use the 50% off coupon if uh, they're not buying the nine west pumps they won't be able to use the 50% off coupon uh, same goes for other uh, tributes for example uh, let's say uh, we want to go by color of course you would have to have this attribute uh, created for this to work and let's say if the attribute is red so uh, if all of these conditions which means uh, they must be uh, 9 West uh, women's uh, pumps that are the color red for the 50% off coupon to work if you choose any it can be any item that is red or any item that is named this uh, and then if you set another um, attribute here for example uh, let's say uh, if the quantity in the cart is 2 then uh, the 50% off uh, coupon will apply so again all of these uh, rules have to be met if you click on any if any of these rules are met then uh, the coupon code can be applied so that's how this works and as for actions we uh, decide on um, the type of action for example do we want to offer a percentage discount a fixed price discount a fixed amount discount for whole cart or buy X amount get Y free uh, for in this case we're going to do a percentage so we're going to do 50% off and now maximum uh, quantity discount this is if you want to limit uh, the amount of uh, items that a person can purchase uh, with a 50% off coupon I'll have it as zero which is for unlimited and now uh, apply to shipping amount do you want the shipping uh, to be discounted by 50% off as well or would you prefer only that the subtotal of the cart be uh, discounted by 50% if you want it to apply to shipping you click on yes if not you click on no and uh, these are additional rules do you want the rules to stop processing once uh, certain rules are met so yes and now labels this is uh, the name um, of the promotion for example I'm going to enter it 50% off and then we simply save and now we can test out our coupon so as you can see I already have these nine West pumps here so if I apply the coupon code it works now if I also add this item to the cart I will get 50 percent off the entire order because uh, the quantity is two but if I remove this item I can no longer get the discount because uh, none of my price rules have been met as you can see but if I were to change the quantity to 2 and enter the coupon I will be able to get the 50% off discount because of this rule right here so that's how these rules work if uh, you don't want to set any rules you simply uh, delete all of them and now the 50% off will work as for the shipping to be discounted by 50% as well we simply um, go to actions here and we simply select yes for apply to shipping amount and click save and now when we update our cart it will be a $10 discount so uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.